Thor just got out the car. Where did you come from? From uh, the Poconos, East Stroudsburg. Oh, okay. Yeah. God, thanks for bringing him all this way to try and give him some. Yeah, well, um, thank you. Like, he seems like he's in good hands. Oh, yeah. yeah, he will be. He'll be. He'll be good. He's nervous, obviously. So, but he's got two bites on him, and the rescue didn't want him to go straight back there and then straight out without a trainer seeing if we could help him and what the situation is what do you think set him off did people come up to him too quickly or um we could so, just walk so i can see you walking so, so what how time, did it happen um so my wife was walking around like i was with her but yeah she wanted to hold on to him to kind of get more practice yeah and um he was like just he likes to go up to people sometimes. I saw fun. that. He wanted yeah. to come right up to me, yeah. but he didn't look like he was comfortable. And yeah. I was like, no, I don't want him to come all the way up to I me. Know. So you've been allowing him, no no disrespect to you whatsoever, but you've yeah. kind of just let him like lead you? So I don't hoping. Usually, okay, good. But, uh, you know, my wife, like, she's smaller. And yes, he can drop. I can see it. He's a strong <laughs> dog, so, like, good boy, really Thor. have a choice a lot of the time. So, like, we'll go back down like, this way. Kind of beeline for people and go straight up to him. Yeah. And, Usually it's like he just wants to be pet, but like, you know, Usually he, he wants to be pet. Guy, mm -hmm. you know? So he went up to this old guy, and the old guy was, he was intimidated. Good he was boy, scared. Though. Yeah. And the old guy, he was kind of like, Was he oh. moving his hands and like, he was tense? In front of him, like, you know, kind of like scared, like, easy boy, like, you know. Yeah. Like, Good like boy. He had his hands, like, you know, close to Thor. Yeah. And Thor just like bit him. Yeah. How bad was it? Was stitches needed? There was no stitches needed, but there was there was, there was blood. blood. There was so he punctured. It was a gash. Like I it was a gash. And, you know, it was like no a stitches, but he, oh yeah, he's dragging you all over the place. Yeah, I know. And if he sees a car at home, he will hurdle into the traffic. He'll uh, like jump at the car. He will like like if we let him go, he'll basically like jump right into the car. Yeah. He'd kill himself. He's a yeah, lemming. Exactly. He has no self-preservation whatsoever. Yeah. Does he like riding in the car? Yeah. What does he him. like seeing cars? Sorry about a million questions. What does he like when he sees cars when he's in your car? So, when he's in the car, he seems pretty good, but when he sees people that get good too boy. close by... You can't he, come up to me. He, he, gets, uh, <laughs> he gets angry and he starts barking at them. Uh, so he barks at people when he's in the car sometimes. Yeah. Um, so the guy, you know, Barks like at people when he's in the car. Gotcha. You know, I just called the cops. It was a whole big thing. He yeah. The I'm sure he was terrified. Yeah. And the dog went up to him, which we shouldn't have, you know, we're not going to want to. That's why I'm like, you don't get to just come up to people exactly. and not feel 100% and then have feelings yeah. when you're in someone's bubble. It's just, yeah. you should learn to stay away right. and feel your feelings out. Like when you met him, it took, what, 20 minutes outside before he warmed up to you? Um, when you very first met him? I think that's what are you eating, Thor? He gave him some treats right oh. away. Like the shelter gave us some treats hey, to Thor. give to him. So he like seemed okay, but you know, he was hey. nervous. Good boy. He was nervous, you know, for even like the first week You could two. see it, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I can see it. He wants to come up, he wants to be friendly, but he's not completely confident, which... Yeah. And so there's a person. We'll move into the car park and just... I just want to see when he sees a person. He doesn't seem hyper vigilant right now. Like Good like boy. Far, totally Good far, boy. It's like, it's like a certain closeness. Yeah. Um, then he wants to like go towards the person. Yeah. Good and, boy. I guess we don't fully really always know. Yeah. You know? No, you don't. Um, also, the other guy, it was the same day, and you know, we have to go through the whole like cops and all that. And then the same day. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have an office where we, we run like a, Good boy. We run an online clothing store. Yes, your so wife said. Yes. We'll turn around and go back. And, uh, normally, you know, he's pretty nice to them. Like, but, you know, this one day he like went right up to the guy, was barking, and we had a gate up, but the gate, the gate wasn't that tall. It was like up to here yeah normally he doesn't try to get past it yeah but like this time he was like you know up on his yeah hind legs yeah like trying to get at the guy and the guy like in the past he had pet thor in the past oh it, wow the really past. but the barrier you think made the difference and the fact that he'd already had a problem that day i mean the barrier had always been there ah i mean yeah we thought maybe the fact he'd like, already had a bad upset that day he already bad upset yeah that once day. you're in that kind of state yeah which is why, you know, it's harder to trust him. Oh, he saw people yeah. in a car. I see that look. So if you just 
try and turn around. Good boy, that was good. So, that so was yeah, good choices. Same, same day, and the delivery guy came and he was, you know, barking at the delivery guy, and the delivery guy thought, you know, oh, I could just pet him like I pet him before. Yeah. So he wants to go pet him and so bit his arm. Right. Yeah, so. Just keep a little distance still. Yeah, no problem. So that was basically it. Go so ever since then, we've been kind of afraid to have him around people, you know? Yeah. I can see, because he, he does. He just runs straight up to you. And then he has decisions of whether he feels good or not. Yeah. And I want him to be reading people a lot sooner. Okay. Um, like, he seems, he's totally, like, I, I'm fine coming up to you and eating all your food. But he's, like, pushy, coming up, like, I'm going to come right in your space. But then he's going to have emotions. And it's like... Um. No, 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 no. Stay in your lane gotcha. until you're a hundred percent confident of your feelings and that you've done the assessing. And if you've got any issues, there it's all done before you've gone okay. near anyone. Yeah. So that'll just that give. He should always learn that. He should never, ever, ever go straight up to people. Gotcha. Um, okay. okay. So anything else that I need to know? We'll go up and down one more time. Um, I mean, my wife wrote you a letter with like you know, all his info, like. Know, like, good boy, though. Good boy. His schedule and all that. Okay. What's um, been the best things about him? Uh, he's mean, beautiful. Like, when he's at home, he's a total sweetie. When it's just the two of us. Yeah. He's like, you know, he loves to get pet. He really yeah. wants attention. He's a total sweetie. And, um, you know, like, if we go up to him, he'll kind of, like, lay, up, lay down and, like, show you his belly. And he just yeah. wants to get pet. Oh. A few, uh, tricks, like a few cats? Have you seen him around cats? Um, actually, the reason we got four is because we wanted a uh, dog that was good with cats. Okay. And Thank God. Yeah. It's one thing if he's a bit much with dogs, but um, cats would be a real hard one for me. <laughs> yeah. So he actually he uh, doesn't good really boy. seem too interested good in cats. Good boy. Yes, you uh, are. We have a cat, and she kind of just stays away from him. Because he's a big guy. I there think you go. he's just kind of intimidating. You love food. Yeah. You love food. food. Tell me tricks. Like, yes, you do love food. Uh, like, he'll shake your hand if you have a tree. Okay. He'll, he'll lay down. Okay. He's really food. And his back legs are a little shaky. Yeah. Do you know what that's about? I don't know. I don't How long's that been going on? Uh, it's not always, but we do notice it sometimes. And How old is he? I mean, we don't know how don't rough know his life sure, is. But they said he's three or four. Okay. Um, my wife mentioned the. When did you do you know when it started? No. But okay. My wife mentioned the thing with the seizures. Yes. So I. So I don't know be, if that's like pre-ictal or. Yeah, it could be related. Or if it's just a you know. Um, he had his blood work done. They said everything looked fine. Go over there for me. Yeah. I don't want him near the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then when he gets frustrated, if he's too close to me, he could redirect. Yeah. So you just exactly. want to keep all... So he's kind of going to Good boy. Car. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. He that wasn't too bad. Yeah. He's distracted and he doesn't own There's anything. A There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. You go that way. I'm just trying to get close and then go away. Get close, go away. Till he's used to my movements, my hands. Yeah. I want to set him up for success. He okay. gets used to biting more. That's yeah. just... Not, it's going to go downhill. This is a dog that's completely, in my view, savable. Um, so we want to, I do not want to screw it up for him. Yeah. I mean, he's a sweetie. I yeah. Know, I yeah, I don't see, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to work this out. But the, the difficult part is finding people who are confident enough to be able to follow the rules of keeping him away from people, oh. not allowing it at all until he's completely, you know, showing signs of being trustworthy and he's taught more to communicate how he feels sooner. Yeah. He's got to learn to say by moving away, I'm not ready for that interaction okay. and that's you know that takes time yeah to get a really reliable okay we're gonna go in there and you can pop him in in that pen so you don't think you'll give the cats a hard time which will be um, one so easier he's got that like running after things yeah. thing he wanted to yeah, run after that truck Obviously, I don't have yet, I don't have a huge uh, fence or secure fence yet, so I'll be walk, leash walked. Is he an escape artist? Is he jumps on fences? Uh, usually he just 
he's pretty good, but like I said, that one time with the delivery guy. Yeah, he was jumping. He like pretty much took the fence down. Ooh, yeah. okay, okay. So when he sees people, okay. Um, you're gonna pop him in there and then close the door if you can just leave the leash. Can you take the um the poop bag off it? Yeah. So it's not dragging around. I one more box for you. Oh great. Okay. But yeah, thank you so much. Of course. And like I feel so bad. Oh. Hey, so. when it's over your head, it's over your head. When it's yeah. too difficult and it's making life too stressful. Yeah. You know you. You're doing the right thing. It's, my first dog too, so I, it's I a lot so for a first dog that's actively biting. That's yeah. he's nervous. He's insecure. He's got some issues. He's got some yeah. medical issues. Yeah. You know, and thyroid is one of the most undiagnosed behavior causes for problems um, in the world. So it's so good that that you got a diagnosis yeah. and that he's on medicine. I got his uh, medicine with him, right? Yeah. Okay, but yeah, he's definitely um, his legs are a bit shaky. Yeah. Yeah. And so they put him on like a sedative, didn't they? Amyltryptyline? They on like an antidepressant. Which okay. Which I've never heard of being used in dogs, actually. I mean, I, I mean I'm not an expert expert. I'm a ex-vet tech and a dog trainer and shelter worker, but there's so many things out there. But I, I haven't heard of that one being used except for humans. Ah, okay. Okay. So what do you want to just going to drop it so that I've got a safe way of bringing him out. Mm -hmm. And then you'll come out. And let him do his thing and close him in there and then i'll make friends with him through the fence okay and get the leash i could have taken the leash off you but with the recent bite thing i'd rather just feed him through the fence when you're gone okay. let him sniff let him calm down see if he wants to make friends with me okay. and then take him out on a walk and then put him back and then take him out on a walk and then i'll take him around okay. um and go down below i'm just gonna go slower usually i just take the leash off the person and i go yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't have a muzzle on and i I don't uh, exactly. I don't want to set him up.